Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to this update video. <coughs> so guys, I'm going to be heading to work soon, so I quickly wanted to cover these updates before it got too late and I missed out. We just got our recent update um, as of this morning with new support coming for Overlord, another Grade 3 <coughs> for Link Joker, and we're going to cover their stills and a couple other subjects. So, as I said, a new Grade 3 attacker for Link Joker and a new Overlord first Vanguard. And guys, again, I'm sorry, I'm sick, <coughs> so I'm going to try to keep the golfing down to a minimum. So our unit starts off as a grade 3, um, its name currently is Between the Stars, it's a 10k unit, counter blast 1, when this unit attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost, if you do, choose one lock card that, card that does not lock during your opponent's neck, does not unlock during your next, your opponent's next end step. Again, I'm sick, I'm sorry. <coughs> On GB1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, during the battle, this unit gets 4k. So it's a pretty overall 14k power rear guard. <coughs> and it's super nice. It even works as a Vanguard. And its skill is a rear guard skill. It's a counter blast one. We also have Lizard Attacker Conroe. So this is the new Overlord starter. Its flavor text thus far is the path leads to the Overlord. He knows that. Um, counter blast one when this unit's placed into place this card into soul choose one overlord card from hand reveal look at the top seven cards of your deck reveal an overlord among them add it to your hand shuffle deck if you didn't add one card to your hand soul charge one so you either get your soul replenisher or you're getting a grade three to hand <coughs> which is really good um i haven't read this area <coughs> Wow, I am really sorry. I'm trying to clear my throat. And I would cut that out, but I don't have time. For today's card, we're introducing more support for the uh, uh, Link Joker box. Um, and Kongro. We have a new Ultimate Strike coming out. The Ones Who Awaken Ladies is this section. So we have some scenes and stuff from the previous episode. Of card fight vanguard we also have a clan usage chart which is really really great <coughs> so I'm excited to maybe cover this in another video but as you can see gear chronicles at the top so I'm not really too thrilled about that on top of that we also have some deck lists from the cl from the cuts in Japan but these are the cards I really wanted to talk about we have two new units coming out masquerade master Harry her Magia skill is Counter Blast 1, choose a card face down with the same name as her, flip it face up, and choose two cards in any circles, in any other circles, place them into soul. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to three cards from your soul, call them to separate rear guards. When this when when that unit and uh, when that turn ends, place them into soul. Now this is what I'm really really concerned with choose two cards in other circles place them into soul um from what i saw earlier on facebook the wording stating is that what place them into your soul is how it's going to be phrased which is really broken when you think about it because if that's how the skill is going to work that means you can choose your opponent's rear guards and send them to your soul but that's not all call them to separate rear guards place them into the soul and you also have the continuous effect of vanguard Cho for each face up parry in your g zone choose one of your rear guards with the magia ability and choose one rear guard with the magia ability all gain power of 3k a little bit awkward on the wording but this is really good overall i'm kind of excited and i'm hoping it's a low rarity we uh, come in it's a promo it looks like so that's good <laughs> and we also have Night Rose Pirate King Night Rose. So, Counter Blast 1, choose a card with your G Zone with the same name, flip it face up. Choose a card in your drop zone for each face up card in your G Zone plus one, so meaning every for every card up there. Call them to separate rear guards with a hollow ability. This unit gets plus one crit. When this. When your battle phase begins, for each night rose in your drop zone, choose one of your units during that turn, and it gains 5k. 
Um, again, the wordings that I saw on Facebook are a bit different, which I'll be covering in a different video to come. This is just sort of a quick news update. <coughs> We're getting apparently Chrono Jet G with the anime artwork is being handed out at tournaments in November throughout Japan. So that's going to be a cool card for Japan. We're probably never going to see it. We also have new dragons being up for informed. So we have this, the Purge. We have a little bit more info about these. We have our Gavriel, and we still don't know what our United Sanctuary card is. Um, so yeah, we have Supreme Heavenly Dragon, Dragonic Overlord, The Purge, which I can't wait to see that. November 17th will be releasing of these Rin Sleeves, which honestly I love, and I might buy a set. It's only like seven dollars and forty cents and the deck case itself is eight dollars so that's awesome um the awakening zoo on sale december 8th so that's been confirmed which will have <coughs> you know neo nectar mega colony and great nature i'm honestly excited i play all these clans and i can't wait to see what they're happening so we have a new asha coming into bloom which is just gonna boost up the price so buy your asha units now guys we have our new dragon, Zeroth Dragon of Death Flower Sorrow. It's claimed to have the highest power seen in Vanguard history. Oh god, guys. This is going to be something like 30k plus to your Vanguard. And I can't wait to see what it is. Um, So we have our release. We have Evil Governor Darkface. And we have Phantom Blue Recluse Asha. So she's no longer a maiden. She's now a phantom, I guess. And guys, the artwork is just so incredible. And my theory went out the window that I re released the other day. So the theory of um, all of these grade threes being some form of dragons just sort of went out the window, which I sort of expected, but that happens. Um, so the set is going to of the zoo, the Awakening of Zoo, is going to have seventy three cards, seventy six cards, seventy three new with three reprints, one Z rare. Which is going to be awesome. Three generation rares. It's no SPs it looks like. Three triples, two doubles, 21 rares, and 33 commons. Overall, great odds on pulls. Especially when you get two at least singular rares or higher. <coughs> um. Oh, okay. So it does. It has SPs with three special reprints. Which is going to be the stride fodders for each one. And honestly, the new art looks amazing. I just love the art of this game, guys. That's why I started playing Vanguard. Um, normal, normal reprints, we're going to get new face, mutant, um, special rare reprints are going to be scissor bomber, uh, applicant research, pond belly and flower garden maiden of that. So overall we have a lot of news guys and there's just so much. I mean, sword boys got an update, but I'm not excited for the sword boys right now because we have yet to get an update, but guys. If you want to see me open a box of this and the Link Joker stuff, let me know down in the comments below because I am super stoked for this. I'm about to go call my favorite card shop and see how much their boxes are for this stuff. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf. I will see you all later and peace.